Hello, hello and welcome to another update video about Dogecoin. Um, there is not really any change to the chart. Instead, it's actually following through yeah, our primary wave count. Uh, it's very stubborn. It's very choppy. Um, and I'm sure this Elliott wave count will change or morph into, into something different. It's a rather unreliable count. Yeah. Um, because there is just, in the absence of any better counts, <laughs> yeah, uh, we have to come up with something. But we also take a look at trend lines in this video because um, there is something quite obvious here that could um, provide some temporary support. But so far, we can see that price obviously reacted here with this spike. You remember this was a three wave rally only. It reacted perfectly to the 10 and a half cent level the 38.2 retracement of the wave one to the downside. So this was, um, yeah, a, a, a key resistance point for the wave two. It reacted to it quite bearishly, is currently coming down. However, it's not coming down in an impulse, okay? Um, so this is the primary count, by the way, where we say, okay, we peaked in a wave four here in October. We're waiting for one more bear market low. At least price action currently would suggest that. And, um, However, yeah, I mean, in this wave two, we really only did sort of the minimum that you would expect for a wave two. Um, a wave two can always go a bit higher. Therefore, what I cannot promise to you is that we follow through imminently in the third wave. The potential is there. Let me just move that across. The potential is there against our resistance of 10 and a half cents. But um, and then until the trend changes on the shorter time frame, we can go with that. But in the absence of any impulsive price action to the downside, well, maybe it's starting now, but what can always happen because it's such a choppy move, yeah, is okay if we say, right, this was, um, that this was only, let me think, uh, yeah, this was only like the A wave of the wave two, yeah, this is going to become here something like the B wave in the wave two, and we do another rally in a C wave of the wave two. That's possible because in the wave two, we didn't even max out at all the red resistance zone. So we always need to be aware this could um, extend a bit further. But it would not necessarily change the scenario. It's just due to the volatility that's possible here within that one scenario, you can get chopped up quite a bit. But for now, against that 10 and a half cent high, we can focus on lower. If we zoom in now, we can see that we might be in this third wave but it's not really impulsive. It's not typical wave three price action here. So I'm looking at this entire move down as an ending diagonal. And it is very much possible that we get here something like an ABC structure in wave three as a result of that. And that in this C wave now we had, and that would be pretty much in line with the Bitcoin count actually, that this year was some kind of a wave one, probably here wave two uh, and we're now following through like this. This is possible. I mean, there are different counts that are possible here, but this is sort of something I could be following. And um, against the last swing high then, we can even lower relevant resistance lower, um, lower uh, down lower. So that we had here this wave count, that this wave count is now valid as long as we stay below 8.3 cents. Yeah? quite important. And then we could follow through to the downside in a third wave rally. Uh, I can give you a target, but it's not very reliable at this stage, because to be honest, I don't believe this count, um, but there is not really anything better out there at the moment. And this, if this follows through, the third wave should actually take us down to five cents. While this is in line with the projection, I don't believe it, <laughs> okay? But we'll see. I mean, what I wanted to show you in this video as well, is that of course, you know, it could have bottomed already. We talked about that. There are alternative counts, but it would need to do quite a lot to prove that the alternative counts are working out. Uh, we have a pretty obvious uh, possible trend line here that can be drawn. So when we come down here, there's an area around 6.7 cents where we might see a bounce, but it doesn't need to be a bullish bounce. Yeah, as all the bounces that we had here were really just three wave rallies, but they can go up quite a bit. Um, but only three wave rallies everywhere. So I just highlight here that there could be an area where we can get a bounce temporarily. But besides that, there is not much more to add about Doge. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.